Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another player build the, where we take real NHL players as they appear in NHL 13 and rebuild them so that you can use them in EASHL, like OTP games or club games. You can use those players. Today on the board, we have, from the Edmonton Oilers, number 64, Nile Yakupov. Uh, a few people requested him, and the reason why I wanted to do it is because out of all the players that we can do, now Yakupov is probably the the closest you'll get to being dead on balls accurate and still have the player be a useful player. Uh, let me show you what he looks like. So we're going to go to the hockey shop first. I built him as a right wing. And when I say dead on balls accurate, not just with his attributes, but also his appearance. All right. Wrist shot power plus five. Wrist shot accuracy plus five. Wrist shot power plus three. So we have power at plus eight. Speed plus five. Speed plus three. Acceleration plus five. Acceleration plus three. Agility plus five. Agility plus three. So plus eight on speed, acceleration, and agility. Passing plus five. Deking plus five. And puck control plus five. Okay. Now, when I show you what he looks like, a lot, I've actually had comments playing with this build online. How did you get Nali Yakupov in the game? People have actually asked me, how did you do it? You know, did, is it a glitch or something? Because he looks just like him. And I think, especially in the game... It's true. He looks identical to Nali Yakubov. Identical. But uh, offline here, it's it's or when I show you in the menu, it's not as close as you'd think. Pretty close from that distance. Hey? It looks quite a bit like him. So I'll show you his gear first. He used the Warrior Covert for the stick. 90 flex, mid-neutral for the curve. Skates, he used the Bauer Supreme Total 1s. I use 13-inch radiuses on my players usually because uh, it gives me a little bit more speed. It's totally up to you what you guys want to do. Uh, if you want to go for the 13s or if you want to go for the 11s, I'm going to put the 13s on for now. Uh, glove, Warrior Lux. Okay, pretty simple. It's the only Warrior Glove in the game, and that's the one he uses. And finally, the only Warrior Helmet there is Warrior Crown. All right. Actually, that's a pretty good way to look at him. Look at that. That's Nal Yakupov. That's pretty much him. <laughs> Information, Nal Yakupov. All right. He's uh, left-handed, number 64, 5'11", 184 pounds. Okay. Appearance, without the helmet, it doesn't really look like him too much. Uh, custom head, head four, uh, skin tone seven, short shaggy hair, black hair, soul patch, facial hair is black, bushy eyebrows, uh, black eyebrow color, brown eyes, no scars, freckles, or black eyes. In terms of his gear, straight bower visor, no visor tint, shoulder pads are small, pant length is short, jersey tuck none, so sock tuck tuck in the back, and stick tape is white. Look at him. I say that looks a lot like Nal Yakubov, like almost identical. Black hair, brown eyes, like it looks just like him. Anyway, so that's his appearance. That's all his stuff. Now let's get into the attributes, and you're going to see how closely I got, how close I got him to being Nal Yakubov in the attribute category. This is probably the more remarkable part, not just his appearance, but it, the attributes. It's just crazy. Uh, attributes, and Nali Akpov is the player that I use all the time, basically, but I don't use this build. I have a tweak. I use my own version of it. I just like to use him because he looks so much like him. Uh, here we go. So, Deking 85, Hand-Eye 85, Offensive Awareness 87, Passing 87, Puck Control 88, uh, Slap Shot Accuracy 74, Slap Shot Power 72, Wrist shot accuracy 84 and wrist shot power 85. Now, the reason why I've elected to do it like this with the slap shot accuracy and power is because one of Nalyakupov's major traits is his ability to release a one timer. Now, you're not going to be firing the wicked one timer that he does in the game, but if you're playing with goalies, like human goalies, this will be enough. 74 72 is going to crank them because I can do it with 65 65. I can crank it with this build at those, at those levels. Um, your offensive awareness is going to help you hit the net. Hand eye is going to help you with the one timer. You're going to have no problem. The only thing that I don't like about this build really is the deking. I like my deking at 90, but Yakupov's is at 85. Most of you, will, most of you will be able to get by with that, no problem. Oops. Defense 76, 76 for body checking and aggressiveness. Defensive awareness 79. Discipline is 80. I left face off stock, which is higher than is normal. Uh, fighting skill stock. Shot blocking 75 and stick checking 79. We go on to athleticism, acceleration 90, agility 90, balance 76, durability 69, endurance 80, and speed 90. All right, strength is stock. Look at that speed. 
Speed, acceleration, and dirt, and, and agility all at 90. One of the fastest builds in the game. With 13-inch skates, your guy's going to be rocking. Trust me, you're going to have so much fun with this build. I can guarantee it. Um, maybe soon I'll bring you guys an updated version of the, of the build that I use on a regular basis. A lot of you, I think, would like it. But for now... This is the Nile Yakubov as he appears in the game. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you're able to use this one. It'd be so much fun to play with this build when you're playing against human goalies. It would be a blast. I can guarantee it. Until next time, guys, keep sending in your suggestions. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Don't forget also to follow me on Twitter. Twitter, you're going to find a little bit more information. I'm going to update you on all of my videos that come out. Also, I'm going to update you with times for the Subscriber Shootout Challenge. For those of you that haven't taken part in the Subscriber Shootout Challenge, that's how you do it, all right? Uh, or that's how you'll find out when there's new dates and times. Um, so, follow me there and tweet me if you want. Anyway, guys, I'm Target Audience. See you guys out on the ice.